Y'all are not ready for this one. Ooh. Actually, I'm only walking over to his car. Gotta get the mask. Oh, nah, you can stay. You gotta come with me, sorry. <laughs> There's the MVP. Good morning, good morning. Thank you. I even get a chauffeur service. Sorry, that first clip was probably super noisy. But uh, we are driving into Ho'omalihia Botanical Gardens this morning. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun one, I think. This dude has the connects. It was in here before the gate, the walking gate typically opens. And uh, Hell yeah, it's gonna be sick. So, so we just wait, yeah. wait for the guy. Yeah. Dang. I can't believe people stay here overnight. This is a pretty dark ass place, dude. <laughs> a lot of wild animals. Yeah, it's coming nice. to each of night. That's for sure. Got in, dodging some signs. <laughs> they just keep on going, huh? Caretaker was very, very nice to us. Wish we brought him some molasados or something. Ah, <sighs> but yeah, this might be one of those one of those mornings, you know. Uh, scouted it out yesterday. Said the weather was supposed to be pretty clear. Um, we do have a little bit of clouds in, on the horizon that I saw, but it's mostly clear, to be honest. But yeah, it's gonna be, hopefully, a beautiful morning. Hopefully we get something good. That is the horizon. It's, oh, there might be some thick layer of clouds. Oh no, but I see an opening. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can see the fog, isn't it? There's fog, yeah. You can see with that light and all the lights, essentially. There's a bunch of fog in the air because there's no wind. It's cold. So, perfect. Oh, I almost slipped and fell in that... That the the doo doo, uh, perfect weather for fog. So hopefully, yeah. See it real good right there as that light backlights the building. So hopefully we can get some nice time lapses of the fog lifting up over the landscape. That would be cool. Yeah, so exciting to be here early. We did actually come here and. You know, Justin get the connects and we came in here, but then they like kicked us out, which is weird. So this time, hopefully, we'll be okay and we won't get kicked out by somebody else. But I think we should be fine. This will be fun. So, oh, we're a little off, there we go. So here we have our pretty much our first shot. I think we maybe will angle it a little bit more this way, maybe just get kind of more of that ridge. 
Um, but yeah, it's a fairly simple, very classic shot. Typically the shot is shot vertically, but today I'm gonna do horizontal for the YouTube. Um, but yeah, walked on this side of the pond to shoot the light that would hopefully uh, hit this side and get a time lapse going this way. Maybe I'll zoom out just a little bit uh, and try to get, you know, most of that ridge glowing in the light. Who knows, maybe we'll go even further out like this way. That might be a nice shot as well. You can always crop in, uh, but you can't always go wider, at least for a time lapse. So, yeah, maybe something about there. That might look good. Um, got the tall tripod set up. This is my old stills tripod. Uh, and I got rid of it because it was getting janky. But if I just set it up for one time lapse and just leave it there, it should work fine. Um, but yeah, I gotta hurry. I gotta get this one shooting because uh, you know, the light is starting to, it's gonna start to come out pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get this thing set up. All right, so one time lapse down, two more to go. Two more. Spencer, don't you only have two cameras? You thought I only had two cameras until days like this, where you only get one opportunity, or maybe only one opportunity to get these shots. So I did bring along my, oh, you're, that's pretty far away. Uh, I did bring along my old crop sensor body, which uh, means that I have three time lapses. Unfortunately, I broke the, uh, uh, what's it called? Like the quarter inch or three eighth inch ring on the bottom. So I can't mount any tripod plates to it. Um, but fortunately enough, my 100-400 has a tripod mounting plate. And so we're, we're gonna use that and set up a telephoto time lapse, hopefully, of uh, some sections of the ridge that uh, will light up when the sun comes up. <laughs> But that's the situation we got here. We already got one time lapse set up far, far away, and then got a couple more coming. If you look behind me, you can see the, the horizon. It's pretty damn clear. Hopefully, we'll get something good. Oh man, it's such a beautiful morning. So what's the game plan for today? You might be wondering. Well, there essentially is no game plan because we've been here before. Kind of know exactly what to expect. Uh, kind of have my eye already set up on the composition and all the game plan is really doing is just uh, waiting for the light, essentially. Um, you know, if I wanted to do something different, maybe if Justin's doing something different, I'll go comp stomp him. That is uh, the second part of the game plan, but pretty simple. Just get us in here early, show up, wait for the light, and comp stomp Justin. It's simple. We get some clouds rolling in now, but I don't know. What I don't know is the situation of what's happening on the horizon. Uh, that is the X factor. Um, because we're blocked by some hills and trees and stuff can't really see exactly what's gonna happen on the horizon but we're hopeful you know we're hopeful that things will work out there's a plenty of clear sky so hopefully at least something pops through we got it already set up that like, smart guy I'm down here and oh look at that fog in the water that's so sick that is so sick. That missed action. Wow.
All right, where you stay? All right, let's uh, do this major style. Oh yeah, stick it all the way out there like that. So the first uh, time lapse composition that I'm setting up, uh, it's pretty, pretty uh, simple. Um, I'm shooting on the 12 to 24 G Master lens, my brand new one. And uh, I don't know, this is just my thinking. I want to include a lot of this grass in the foreground. Um, but at the same time, we get Justin there, and I wanted to include this rock. But I don't know if we can do all that, because we're going to have Justin and Justin's camera popping in and out of the composition, which, yeah, I mean, it, it's nice for a time lapse, so, but I'm not quite sure if that's exactly what we need. I don't know if he's going to move. Hey, are you moving? Huh? Are you moving? Yeah, I'm going over there, like. Oh, okay. Never mind, I guess we are setting up this way. <laughs> what? I was like... Oh, Justin's in my composition, so I'm gonna move. And then he moves. <laughs> I spoke it into existence. But anyways, I guess we're shooting this way now. Um, but yeah, we just get the rock in the foreground. Uh, get some of the grass a little bit. Might take a couple steps back. But yeah, this damn thing is so wide. Pretty much everything just gets in the composition. It doesn't even matter if you try to move it. It's just so wide, it's just everything gets in it. Am I in it already? No, you're good. I'll adjust around you. Alright, I'm trying to shoot these flowers for Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I might go, I might have to go low too. Yeah. Alright, so essentially comp stomping Justin. He's like, I like get low to get the flowers, so therefore I went low to get the flowers <laughs> and the rock. Um, but yeah, just positioned the curve of this thing, of the grass, just uh, at the edge of my frame, so we just get his tripod out of there and we move slightly forward so that this rock is separated from the ridge line in the water just like that. And yeah, 12 millimeters. If we get light, man, is it gonna be sick? We have about, let's see, can you focus on the watch? We have about 10 minutes till sunrise. So, still got time to set up a, another. Uh, time lapse. I don't know with what though, because sheesh. I mean, the telephoto. I don't know. Might, maybe I'll just use it to look around and pick out stuff that catches my eye. But it might be cool. I might just do that. Let's just set the set it up, and then we'll see if we want to do a time lapse or if we want to just use it to snap, snap away. Because essentially, I'm shooting with a 150 to 600 now. <laughs> So it can't go as wide, so it might not be able to get as wide as I would like for a time lapse. But it should be good to just take a couple snapshots. Bro, the setup just looks overkill. Like <laughs> the lens is wider than the camera. What is on there? 100 to 400, and the my old A6500. <laughs> uh, too much sometimes. Oh, brah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see anything. Alright, so uh, if there's anything that's overkill, anything that I do that's overkill, it is <laughs> bringing this thing around. I essentially turned my old uh, crop sensor body into a wildlife lens. Because look at this monstrosity. The lens is bigger than the body by far. Like, this just looks redonkulous. Like, it doesn't make any sense. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to drop it, so I'm putting my body against it. And let me just show you guys. This is... I'm filming. You can see, uh, if you take a look at the scene behind me, uh, <laughs> you can pretty much uh, see that I can only film very, very teeny tiny portions of the frame. And this is at its widest, because I'm zoomed in all the way already at 150 millimeters. I was thinking about maybe doing a time lapse this way, but I kind of wanted to get a little bit more of the reflection in the water, but I can't because I'm too zoomed in. 
Uh, yeah, that's uh, what we're looking at right now is <laughs> that tree in the water. And uh, yeah, there's uh, no chance that I am time lapsing with this lens. And uh, it's unfortunate because I would have been able to do a more zoomed in time lapse with the uh, 24 to 105 uh, if this bottom screw actually worked, but it doesn't. I broke it because this thing, this uh, body is like four or five years old already, so it's, uh, it's a bit dated and it, it uh, needs a little bit of repair. But it works fine still, the camera itself is just that damn screw. Um, but yeah, we'll stick around, we'll see what happens. Maybe if we only get light in certain portions of the mountain, we can snap away a few shots, maybe do a few panoramas, but <sighs> look at this monstrosity, it's redonkulous, honestly. Just, I don't even know what I'm thinking doing this. I have no clue. Like I said, you ain't ready for this time-lapse madness. <laughs> so we got, I don't know how much stuff going on. One, two, three, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. Four, five, six. Six time-lapses and seven down there. I'm about to turn that one into a time-lapse. Just give me a second. We're just out here casually having photogasms because look at that light. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that time lapse on the other side is freaking oh, yeah. sick too. This is the best video you ever made. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so uh, I tried to put this one on the vlog stick and it's not really working out. <laughs> so I don't know. I think we just might use this one to take stills, like snapshots and stuff. Um, but. Goodness gracious, would you look at this? What the? Oh my god. Like kind of like all the light, right on the mountain. Yep. Totally. Well worth it. And like I said last time, I told myself I'm never coming back. This time, ne I'm actually never coming back because it's such a hassle to get in here. Unless Justin's mom wants to do us another solid and <laughs> bring us back during like a thunderstorm or Milky Way or. One yeah, of some crazy save it, save it for something like that. Yeah, yeah. Cause frick, we got this shot for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's do a panorama with this thing. Action, huh? <laughs> Get that. <laughs> oh, oh. That is atmospheric if I say so myself. Just floats and joins the rest of the fog, that's, you know? It's that's pretty fing hilarious, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Vaping's bad kids. Vaping is bad for your health, but it makes for good photos. That fog over there. A nice little photo shot right there. Yeah, down that way. All right, time to take it. Thanks. <laughs> you can up. Uh, the time going super fast though. Like every second? Yeah, I don't know. I, it's not, no, it's not still. I it in on so Oh. So it's going to be good for... It's the same thing as Aiden. It's smaller. 
Oh, bro, the light is kicking off now, but we get some native birds coming in. The Alai, I forget the the second part. It's not the Alai Ula, because the Alai Ula is red. These ones have the white beaks. But, uh, the what? Shiny. The shiny beaks. <laughs> yep. But, oh my gosh, this light is crazy. But I've switched lenses to 100 to 400. What are those? Are those just ducks flying? Those look just ducks. But anyways, let's snipe them. While I wait for my buffer to clear. Oh my god! This light. Oh yes. Crazy. I want to get some video of the bird, but in the meantime, while I wait for my buffer to clear, check out that goodness. Sheesh! Look at this, look at this mist, the fog, or I don't know what it is, fog or mist or whatever, but Jesus, as soon as the sun comes up, it just, boom, there it is. If I block the light, can you see it better? Not really. Okay, I gotta change my battery now. <laughs> oh my gosh, too much stuff going on right now. Too much, too much stuff. Oh my goodness. Sorry there's been a very, very uh, lack of commentary today. We've just been busy shooting because right now we have beautiful fog kicking off. 
right here um, because the, the light is coming in at an angle and it just is like highlighting all of that fog. So I took a few shots, took a few video clips oh, of... Dude, the rays. Where? Out there. There's rays? What? I, oh my gosh, I'm gotta, stepping in there. The Cover the sun. Can I see it on the camera? I can't rays even. coming down through the... Oh, coming down through the... Oh yeah, there is. It's like fucking... Okay, bye. I No more commentary, I'm <laughs> shooting. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you guys the light rays that's happening. Hang on, I have to darken down the scene. That should be good. Let's zoom in. I don't know if this thing can zoom in far enough. I can't really take the... Oh, you can kind of see it there. A little bit. But all of that fog, all of that atmosphere is just lifting. And then as the sun popped over the that hill, just magical. Just pure magic. Holy smokes. Photogasms galore. We literally got everything today. Sorry, you're zoomed in on my face way too much. And uh, now we're way too dark. And uh, now we're way too bright. There we go. Like we literally got everything today from beautiful colors in the clouds to beautiful light on the ridges to fog mist atmosphere, which we never get in Hawaii, by the way. That never ever happens. And uh, to like beautiful wildlife coming through. Oh, it's just insane. I can't wait to see what that time lapse looks like. I mean, it's not going to be as good as what we got here, but it's going to be. Oh, I think it's great, uh, great for another perspective, though. Like, yeah. It looks sick from both angles. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, goodness gracious. Are we getting any more alive here with us? No? They all kind of went away. All I see is just the regular the regular ducks. <laughs> Justin pointed out the light ray and I'm like, what? Where? And like, I'm trying to like look towards the sun, right? And I'm trying to block out the top part of the, of the sun and the bottom, <laughs> the sun is so bright, it's reflecting off the surface of the water. I'm just like, I still can't see. So, but yeah, I saw it and took a few shots. Hopefully they came out. It's so bright. I can't even see what I'm shooting on my crappy uh, crop sensor so frick who knows if it's gonna come out but it should hopefully I don't know we'll see but man what a beautiful beautiful morning I might do one more panorama with the with the, with the body one second This is just pure bliss. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. It's just freaking awesome, freaking amazing. We got so much time lapses running and, pff, Jesus.
I mean, I would have taken some shots on this one, but I guess, it, I mean, sometimes it's kind of nice to have a stills camera to shoot freehand with and then the video camera. Um, what I really need is an attachment thing so that I can put one on top of each other. And then that way, that'd be like the ultimate vlog setup, you know, photography vlog setup. You get a freehand stills camera and then when you want to switch the video, boom, right on top. Ah, I know I ordered one, it's coming in the mail. I was going to use it to take up in the helicopter at Photocon, but then Photocon due to COVID got canceled. So I guess we have, have other purposes to use it for. Oh, Justin's still snapping away. I mean, how can you blame him, right? It's freaking gorgeous today. Absolutely gorgeous. And this light ain't going away anytime soon. There's just pure blue skies behind us. You just can't ask for anything more. Insane. Just so insane. freaking insane out here this morning pure beauty oh my god can't even put into words Whew. god dang god dang it I don't even know what to do so I think we're pretty much about finished here I mean I don't really know what else we can get we pretty much shot this place to death at least uh, in terms of uh, you know all these time lapses and stuff so Finish that time lapse up. We'll pack up these lenses. Uh, yeah, we'll just pack everything up and then we'll probably walk over. Justin wants to get some shots uh, shooting this way. And I kind of want to do a time lapse from up there with the main camera as well. But man, what a beautiful morning. Like, I don't really have a lesson for you guys today. It's just pure, pure joy, pure bliss, you know? We wanted to come back and, and get this shot again um, at a better time. And especially when you can get in here, like as that light is coming across and as that light is changing the entire scene, it just looks so different than waiting until six o'clock, walking in or running in, and then getting here, like when the light is just about to turn golden instead of that bright orange, you know, it just makes such a, such a difference. Um, so thank you, Mama Justin, for getting us in here and then I'm sure for a fact we'll be back for like a Milky Way or if there's a thunderstorm that comes around, um, we'll be back for that. But for like doing sunrise here, I think we've, we've pretty much done it <laughs> to its full ex fullest extent, uh, in my opinion. Oh, so beautiful. Just insane. Just insane. <laughs> Can you 
guys see that? It looks like that tree is burning, but it's just the water evaporating off of it. From all the mildew, and now it's getting hit by direct light. Oh, that's so sick. Hell yeah! Still get plenty of mist action going on down there, too. So cool. Sheesh, this collo is sick, too. The land collo. The big ones. Caretaker, caretaker would be the best job. You get this pond all to yourself, all, all to the yourself, time. all the time. Every angle, every condition. Super sick. So, uh, when are you starting? <laughs> <laughs> you want to quit Epstop Bangers house here? Oh yeah, it's gonna be taken over. <laughs> so yeah, the caretaker that let us in just has like full access to this all the time. So Justin's gonna apply, I think. He's thinking about it. He's gonna quit his quit his job working at A plus and he's gonna apply. Oh yeah, you probably could, right? Because all you gotta be here is at nighttime, right? There you go. Akamai, Akamai. So from this mist on the, that water, there's just rays coming down. Oh, it's just insane. So much atmosphere. You never really get to get a chance to see this in Hawaii. Trust me, this is like once in a blue moon type opportunities, you know? So I just took one quick panorama with the uh, 12 to the 24 to 105, and now I'm just doing a quick pan across for the vlog, for the B-roll. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just trusting that my camera is capturing all the detail it needs to capture. And hopefully I can bring up all of the shadows in post. Yeah, you guessed it. We are, uh, <laughs> we're stopping again. Oh, you're gonna tip over. Don't tip over. I think I might just do this shot handheld. Actually, I don't know. Might have to focus that. wind so it's just pure heat Ugh. so we're just uh, making our way over to the other side beautiful beautiful morning just insane conditions caretaker came up to us and was like yeah like you don't get this stuff very often so <laughs> so lucky to get here at this time Ooh. there's some water but it's all overgrown now yeah. it was getting there of course it was like three years ago now you want to go down or you want to go up where's your time loss? up but yeah you go okay Well, the good news is that the time lapse is still going. So we're good. Awesome.
Oh man, I didn't expect, I mean I expected the light to be good, but I didn't expect the light to be this good. I mean, the angle of the sun must be so perfect that it gets nice shadows on this side, as well as nice shadows just on that portion, right where we need it, right on the main shot. So, set up the time lapse, thankfully that one is still running, so I'm just gonna let that one go, set up a new one with the 24 to 105. I'm just letting that thing run. Alrighty, it's hot. We're finished. We're getting the hell out of this place. It is extremely hot. No wind. It's just absolutely killer. Um, Justin, I'm gonna ask. I know I asked you this in the live stream again, but we got to do it again for the vlog. But how was this morning? Great. Perfect. Can ask for more. Really can. We were asking for a hawk this morning. <laughs> we were asking for owls. We immediately felt bad about it after though. You really can't ask for that. Yeah, I know. We were like, oh yeah, it would be nice if a hawk just came down, swooping through the through the light rays and stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's never gonna happen. But just you know, you wanted to um, travel inter island from Maui or the big island or something. <laughs> yep. On vacation. I've seen I've seen Fueo here though up in the mountains. Fueo, yeah, I've seen I've seen oh okay, yeah, I've seen more barn owls than Fueos, but uh, yeah, no hawks. No hawks, yeah, I've never seen a hawk before, but that'd be amazing to see eventually. Is that a rabbit down there? That's a freaking rabbit! <laughs> it's hopping away. That is. That's a white white rabbit. Too. Pretty funny, dude. You get on the vlog, Bruh. Watch for the hawk. The hawk, the hawk will go after come. the rabbit. <laughs> is there a rabbit here? Just hey, buddy. Bye. See you later. That is one nice looking rabbit, though. It's like yeah. just just black on the around the eye and just pure white. Yeah, I'm cool as a rabbit now. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. It's a <laughs> it's a it's a white rabbit with the black for covering the red eye. 
That is freaking insane. Have you seen a rabbit? It's just out in the wild, you know, just casually, just <laughs> popping around in the grass. And it still hasn't like, gone anywhere. Like, yeah, it's still chilling. It came up to it. It kind of moved, but then it didn't go into the bush. Yep, yep. Didn't, it didn't dip. That's just a grandma or something saying hi. Um, <laughs> insane. Just pure, pure insanity today is what, uh, you know, <laughs> this vlog is going to be titled and essentially what we got today is just madness, madness all over the place. Um, but yeah, that's going to about do it for us. Unless we see a hawk come in, uh, swooping in, then, then we'll film that for sure. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, that's going to about do it for us. I wouldn't be surprised, bro, if there's like this today has just been like, just if you asked me if it was going to be a hawk or a rabbit today, I would say a hawk for sure. If, yeah. Yeah. Something were to pop up, I would definitely have said a hawk. Yeah. Like who? Did, in the middle of the freaking forest, where there's pigs and everything to eat the rabbit, a timid rabbit too. It's like very friendly. So I don't know. Somehow it survived this long out here, or maybe it just got loose yesterday from a tourist or something. I don't know. Um. But yeah, that's gonna about do it for us. I'm tired, my arm is getting sore, and it is hot. Uh, hit the like button, comment below, and subscribe if you aren't ready. And from the time-lapse king and the time-lapse queen, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out! <laughs>